Check out hashtag BBL smell. So are you familiar with this? The BBL smell is trending on social media, but what is it? And you wondering like, like, who the hell got cheesy fries? You know, like who got their socks out? You know, something, something don't smell right. But men, men are not asking you for this. How about have a personality? Mm. How about how about treat me kind? How about be appreciative? Nobody asked for that. Men and women are not talking. They're not having any kind of discussion. Most of the time, men are not speaking up about what they want or what they don't want. Women are doing what they want to do. Nobody wants those long fucking snuffle up with his eyelashes. Nobody wants your BBL, especially if it's going to be funky. Pull up the Soul Train line. Let's see. Look at these. There's no BBLs here, bro. These are just fit women, naturally fit women. Little flat stomachs, little booty, but nothing crazy. Women are deciding this is what the look is and this is what men want. And they're not asking men what they think. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Check out hashtag BBL smell. So are you familiar with this? I am not familiar with this. I, I well, I my my girl just kind of mentioned it, but I didn't get an explanation in passing. We were talking about this, like just, but we got uh, distracted by something else. So I, I'm not familiar with I, this. I what is hashtag for Black Google? I, I that's I, true. <laughs> I've been telling you this line of Black Google. Well, I I didn't realize it was a different app that you got to download. All right, I've been using Mac. I'm, I'm gonna forward it to you, but you I was using Mac uh, OS uh, or whatever, and then I should have been using sign up for Mac OS, my nigga. <laughs> oh boy, I was using Mac BET is what I got to sign up. Yeah, for. that's the old one. That's the that's old, the old people... one. Oh, they got the update. They got yeah, the white update. people bought BET. So oh, that's right. Didn't Tyler, <laughs> did Tyler Perry buy it back? Which one did he buy? No, nah, he didn't get it back yet. But oh, let's boy. be honest, anything he touches just uh, okay. You know. So BB hashtag BBL smells. I just typed that in. Is the BBL the Brazilian butt lift? If you don't know what that is, that's the, the the surgery that's been a trend for the last I don't know seven eight years now. Yeah, the trend where you get uh, just plastic surgery to make your ass gigantic. So it's not. It's a uh, like uh, they take the fat from your body and they shoot it in your butt. Um, they could also do. I think they also do um, implants too. But it did the. the, the Depends. It's a couple of different things. They look okay. with different procedures, but they also take the fat, like liposuction fat, and they put it in your butt. Okay. And so, now, uh, now there are people saying that the Brazilian butt lifts smell. They smell. Yeah, man. I mean, I've been getting calls all week, and because my phone's just been blowing up. Oh my goodness. Smells. Um, warnings. Yeah, but, people like Dante, you need to know about this. I know. You get out there and, and help people. You got to help people. So apparently. It's kind of like a thing where, um, let's say you bought a mansion, right? Okay. And maybe you got a mansion on 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 foreclosure, right? You can't really afford it, right? You not you don't got mansion money, but it was a steal. You had to you had to get it. Right now, mm. you got twelve bedrooms, right? You have twelve bedrooms that need to be cleaned, but you can't afford a staff. Oh uh, boy. Big enough to 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 clean all those rooms. So you got a mansion, but you can't afford to keep it clean. It's just too big. It's just it's too, just much too work. big. It's too much work. So what's happening is a lot of women. Who, it's like say you got a little a little. Say you have a like a, a Euro Asian ass, right? Hmm. You know, a like petite, a flat. something more petite. A studio apartment. Yeah. If you will, right? Everything is smaller in Europe. You know, like those I, little European cars that they got, you know, like yeah. beep beep, those little ones. Little ones, the little economy. The mini. You don't even need a full size broom. You just, you need the, the dust. Choo, 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 yeah. choo, you know. You don't even use a real vacuum. You just use the handheld, the dust buster. The handheld. And you're done. Everything's done. 20 minutes, you're done. A couple baby wipes on the toilet seat, a little, uh, you're done. Bing, 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 bong, bong. I don't know what those noises are. <laughs> Well, you're thinking of an old timey stock ticker, apparently. <laughs> uh, so now you move into this mansion. Okay. Right? First of all, you can't afford to heat it. Hmm. Costs too much, tastes too much oil to heat it. Hmm. But you also can't afford this dust everywhere. Certain rooms you go in and there's just there's white sheets over the sure. furniture. 
Nobody goes in there. I, I can't imagine. You definitely can't take care of the uh, the greens, the lawn. I don't know. Nope. You know, I, that's got to be overrun. I don't even know how you take you need care millions of that. Of, you need groundskeepers and all kinds of who's going to take care of the stables. So apparently these women with these big old butts are not accustomed to cleaning all that ass. Oh, no. Is that <laughs> wait? <laughs> Is that now? Is that the theory that's going around? Is that's that a medical of, theory? That's part that of is, it. I don't know. This is the this is a, well medical theory in the hood. Yes. The ass, okay. If you if you it's like if you're, if it, you're according big, to Black Web MD, which is a different website. Yeah, I'm being if told. If you're a big person, you got to be really careful about the folds and the stuff. Like you got to be clean. You got to make sure that you clean. Primarily, it's one of the reasons I'm a big dude. That's why I, I have a. a a portable bidet. I walk with a portable bidet. Mm. I power wash my ass all the time. Just, just power wash it. Make sure it's because you never know when somebody wants to toss the groceries. You I, know what I mean? I like that you walk around with it. You should walk around with it in like a violin case, like an assassin, <laughs> and then you put it. You put it together, screw it on top, on top of a rooftop, and then go. Just hose it right out. Bah, bah. Tell you some, I have one that screws too. It's oh a, boy. Here's oh, my, my boy. I don't see it somewhere. Hold on. Yeah, I remember for a while you were wild about the portable bidet. Uh, I'm, I'm still in. It's, just, it's like, how could you not? Well, I think for a while we were trying to get them as a sponsor. It didn't end up happening, but that was uh, that was uh, brought to the show and the Man School 202 universe, if you will. Yes. I, I, I can't find it right now. Oh, no. You don't have one like an ankle holster? You got to have one like they yeah. ready to go at I any time. Oh, I totally would get an ankle holster. But they... <laughs> so let me, uh, so that's, is there a, another medical reason? Because it's weird. So the other coming medical up now. reason is because, uh, like, if you know anybody that's got, um, that had uh, liposuction or something, right? After the liposuction, it's really, like, I helped a young lady go through her liposuction and, and whatever. And the BBL and stuff. Not not so much the BBL, but what happens is after the liposuction, you leak. Your body leaks. It leaks. It leaks from the lymphatic node, from the lymph nodes. Um, there's just it's blood and kind of pus and liquids that come out. They have to so afterwards they have to go do lymphatic massage, right? Uh-huh. In order to um in order to 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 heal. So there's this hard part. So if you want want the booty to be soft, you gotta break up all the scar tissue and stuff. It's a whole fucking. Oh my god! What it's a not. Process. It's not pretty because it's like you literally somebody would be sitting on a bed. You know those little di diaper uh, mats that they use in, sure, the, in, yeah. the, in the for like the elderly or whatever. You you gotta sleep on those because you leak the stuff. They're like puppy the, pads, basically. The same yes, ones you use for yes, a puppy. Exactly. Yeah. That you're training a dog, yeah. So but they can what also on that. happens is because of this extra fat in the lymphatic nodes, the your urine is the, the woman's urine is 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 medicine-y too, and they sometimes they get like an anal leakage, and sometimes it comes to lymphatics, they sweat through the to, through oh, the sweat glands. So it's creating a whole a perfect storm of bad smell. Oh my god, a lot of bad smells. A lot that, of that I'm not gonna lie to you. That ruins a lot of those Cardi B music videos for me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Her and Nicki Minaj together. I'm like, oh my god, that's got in the hot sun. That's got to be unpleasant on the yeah, like the know, beach of the Brazil. A video of Cardi B shitting her pants during a fucking uh, a concert. Oh, you know, no. is that true? Right. There's a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You probably can find it. Oh boy, I don't even. Should we? Well, if we put that up, we're not going to get this episode out there. All right, All right don't worry about. It. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on one second. Let me. See. All right. Well, yeah. Maybe that's for another time. I do want to look up this Brazilian these these videos here. Maybe a doctor can explain this. So let's let's see if what there is. Have you got a what? You got anything that that? Uh... Let's see. Let's see if something explains. Yeah, I'm looking up a couple things here, and uh, well, this one why a why a BBL would smell? It's really a really disgusting thing to do. Do okay. This one's not medically relevant. I'm sorry. <laughs> just just the thumbnail alone is not exactly. Uh, indicative of a, a medical procedure but i think uh these guys look they, well they were in scrub so that's all it takes bbl smell the bbl smell is trending on social media but what is it it could be like two or three bbl baddies and you wondering like like who the hell got cheesy fries you know 
Like who got their socks out? You know, something, something don't smell right. So why would getting a BBL make you potentially smell bad? There are a lot of theories being thrown out there. When women have liposuctions and BBLs, about three weeks later, all the way up to three weeks later, they have excretions, actually grease, that comes out of their body and it has a putrid smell. It's normal to get a little bit of drainage from having liposuction or BBL for a few days after surgery, but putrid smell after three weeks tells me you've got an infection. That is not normal. When you get a BBL, your ass is so rock hard. Like I could barely get toilet paper and like a hand between my butt cheeks. What you gotta understand is like physics. If you was a chick that was like 150, right? 150 pounds, and then you got a BBL. So the BBL made you probably like 170, 180. You not like, like yeah. so. Here's my thing. I I understand what he means by like that the that the leakage because the leakage does stop, right? And you the, the holes heal up and stuff. But what happens is. You, like what she said is you can't it, it's a whole the geography of your ass of you it's cleaning your ass is different sure you it gotta learn a whole new process now you gotta hurt how do you get yourself clean how do you and if you're still if you still um you know if you're still clean wiping your booty like if you're 120 pounds and i, I think he's exaggerating nobody's putting 30 pounds of ass on but what it is is the simple, the size of the, I mean, I've, I've seen BBLs where they walk in and it's like, it stops the comedy show. Like it just, you're like, oh my, oh my God, we have to, we have to stop. We have to stop the show where it's just so crazy. The problem is that, like, how do you clean yourself? It's the same thing as if you, you all of a sudden you're cleaning somebody else's ass and you can't, you, you, you're not being as mindful or, or at least the routine, you know what, like, like right now, if you go to the bathroom or something like that, you know, you know how to clean your ass. You've been cleaning your ass your whole life. And all of a sudden that changes. And then you have to, um, all at once, I guess. Though, yeah. All at once. Are, like, as soon, I mean, chest. and, and what she said is absolutely true. The, 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 the hardness you have to do lymphatic massage so that the BBL is soft again. So that you have to break up the scar tissue and, leak out it's just not yeah, you get a couple neighborhood kids to hit it like a, with a bat like a pinata you know what i you mean know, just maybe like a uh maybe a wiffle wiffle ball bat like you yeah. get <laughs> they like go down to the the <laughs> mma gym when they do like muay thai kicks hey yeah hey yeah but um sidekicks if you love what we're doing here Go to Patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips, and also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. Here's why this is, this is ridiculously relevant. Okay. It's because... <clears throat> Yeah, please make men, this, please make this helpful somehow. Uh, make it, <laughs> men don't care about this. Nobody, I mean, don't get me wrong. I I get that you want to enhance yourself, but this is like the this is like the snuffle up against eyelashes. Oh, the eyelashes. It's oh, like the it's like uh, like the baby hair. It's like all of these things that you have decided this is what make I go but men are, men are not asking you for this. How about have a personality? Mm. How about how about treat me kind? How about be appreciative? How about not tell me? Wow, so yeah. now you spend a you spend money on your BBL, and now you think that your your the the price of the price of sliced turkey is <laughs> it went up, and now I gotta now I gotta I I can't take you to the cheesecake factory. Mm. I can't to Chili's is out of the question because you got a BBL. Nobody asked for that. Here's a thing that I think is really interesting. Men and women are not talking. They're not having any kind of discussion. Most of the time, men are not speaking up about what they want or what they don't want. And women don't care. They're not listening to you. They're making their decisions based on her. Remember, we did the, um, we did that, that, uh, that episode where this woman says, I want to be a challenge. None of those things. Nobody's asking a man 
what he wants. What does he want? He wants somebody to be to be kind and agreeable and, and appreciative. Um, ask me for what you want and I'll give it to you. If there's any way I can give it to you, I'll give it to you. So, but yeah. it's the demanding and the fact that you are just yeah. on your own bullshit trying to do whatever it is you think is should be done with no consideration about your partner or or what men want in general. Like, we know what you want. You want somebody who's in shape, who's affluent, who's got money, can spend money on you, willing to spend money. We already know that. You want someone to take care of you, the whole deal. The whole deal. And if we have it, we're willing to do it. Oh, we're so willing. We're to willing do it. to do it. We're but so willing to do what it. What about what we want? You don't care yeah. because it's supply and demand. It's sort of like it's like a company that doesn't give a shit about the customers until they have to give a shit about the customers. Because women are doing the same shit that Verizon or AT and T are doing, which is yeah, whatever is beneficial to us. I don't give a fuck about you. We don't give a fuck about what you want. We'll, I need we'll, you, but I don't give a fuck about you. Where and, else and, are you gonna and, go? You know, Women are doing what they want to do. Nobody wants those long fucking snuffle up against eyelashes. Nobody no. wants your BBL, especially if it's going to be funky because you we like ass. Look, we like some ass, but we don't need like that has gone to a, it again. It always goes to a level where like, hey, we didn't ask for it to be that much. We don't give a fuck about that. And there's an asterisk on that, too, because there's some girls that got like, you know, we all. We've all seen my my friend, my ex Dawn. She it was natural. She, had a she played. You know what? Say what you will about Dawn. She played the game pure. She, she played was it pure. pure. <laughs> I respect that. You know, she came out there no no gloves, just pure no gloves. hand in the bat. Just, just you know what I mean. That's she, when the game was pure, Dante. It was pure. I mean, she did wear a weave though. But well. now here's I mean, here's the other thing. You got eyelashes, right? Mm -hmm. You got a, a funky ass from some BPL. You got some leaky, putrid uh, juice coming out your ass. And then you got a weave with smell like corn chips because it sm oh, <laughs> smell boy. like socks and corn chips from 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 the, the sweat underneath your, your, your lace front and your weave, your braids, your pat in your head, your head itches. It's like, come on, dog, what are you doing? It's not what and, we asked and, and for. And we didn't ask for any of that. We didn't ask for the extensions. <laughs> we didn't ask. We were fucking women long before extensions. Women were always getting fucked. Never was well, not were, There's fucked. never been a time in history where women and men existed that women couldn't get fucked. I want to. I wish we could show. Uh, can you show a picture of. Um, Let me see. What is it? Uh, Soul Train. Can you get any, you get any video of Soul Train? Soul Train? Which video is this? Oh, is oh just, like 70s. Soul well, Soul I'm Train. familiar with the show Soul Train. Yeah, again, but like seventies. Uh, I want to remind you, I am not white, so uh, I know I'm familiar with Soul Train in my house. Um, uh, what did you watch American Bandstand? We did not watch. How dare! First of all, what we did watch was Sabado Gigante, and let me tell you something. By the way, Sabado oh, Gigante, the greatest show uh, on earth that we were forced to watch because there was only two Spanish channels. That was the, the best. Dude with the Bumblebee, the dude dressed like the Bumblebee. No, that was uh, El Chespirito. That was a different <laughs> guy. The dude is the Bumblebee. Um, but I'll tell you what I did watch growing up. What? Uh, our music video, if you thought fucking American Bandstand was, uh, or not American, <laughs> sorry, uh, uh, Soul Train, there's ho some hot women on Soul Train. That's nothing to what they oh, were I doing know. down it, the yeah, South yeah. American version of like Soul oh, Train. Yeah, These yeah. are women, they just shot one on the beaches of, uh, like Puerto Rico. <sighs> and there's just women in bikinis, just in their underwear, yeah, basically. Not even that. Or you, you can watch, uh, some of those gigante, you can watch the weather. Oh, the weather. Yeah. Our weather girls were just. You know, he's, uh, he's so hot. Yeah. He making me so hot. Yeah. Pero I like it. <laughs> he's uh, going to be hot today. And we, they, 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 they didn't need to speak English. It was a Spanish channel, but they made him. <laughs> what is the thing on Soul Train you want me to pull up? Which one? Just pull up the Soul Train line. Let's see. Still a little sketchy, but my point is look at these. There's no BBLs here, bro. These are just fit women, naturally fit women. Little flat stomachs, little booty, but nothing crazy. Women are deciding this is what the look is and this is what men want. And they're not asking men what they think. They don't they're care. Not. Well, I did a video and I never finished editing this. And I'm going to bring this. I, I, I went to the uh, Exotica convention. Mm -hmm. uh this year and i was doing questions and i wanted to edit it and put it on the channel uh yeah. i just asked everybody there all the civilians who came through um i asked all the guys do you like the big eyebrows 
and the general consensus was a majority of the people big were either like or eyelashes. The eyelashes, excuse me, big yeah. eyelashes, uh, the big snuffleupagus eyelashes, and the mm -hmm. general consensus was either I don't care that much, or no, I hate them. Yeah, and it was it was a uh, it was at the best answer you got was like I I'll I'll deal with a chick if she has them, but I don't I don't I've never asked a woman yeah. to have. Yeah, we don't. It's a fashion trend that women started and that they like that they wanted to impress each other. But it's not something we want. But it's interesting because how you blame men for everything that you feel you have. There's a lot of blame that goes towards men and their insecurity. And You're blaming them yeah. for your insecurities. And it's not even something. And let's not forget. Let's talk about when we talk about the BBL smell. Also, if you got three inch nails. How you clean with 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 uh, sparkles and gems? Or, how you cleaning your booty? Because let's be honest, BBL goes with eyelashes and long. Well, yeah, there's a Venn diagram. Seldom does somebody <laughs> have long eyelashes and they just have regular normal nails. No, they got the 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 BBL. They got, you got the, the BBL, nails. long eyelashes, gems and pictures on the nails and stuff. How you cleaning your ass? This, now, this is a Mythbusters I want to see because I right. actually I want to know. Are you just walking around with a smelly ass? Uh, I, I guess that has I to be what it it's is. It's so far behind you. you might, maybe you can't smell it. You'd be like, wow, that. Who, Somebody who smells like shit. Like you, here. bitch. <laughs> Where are we at? Are we in Elizabeth, New Jersey? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> just another situation where long just... nails, a booty that's so big that you can't reach around and clean, uh, uh, eyelashes, lymphatic, lymphatic leaking, eyelashes that we don't want, weaves, extensions, weaves with co with corn chips, corn chip smell, and 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 oh feet feet and like old corn chips in a in an old dirty sock. Like you, like, said, like you said, like you used to say, like an old block, uh, old boxing glove. An old, like a, like a, like a used boxing glove. A like James Tony's old boxing glove. <laughs> this has seen some life. This boxing glove. <laughs> Just, damn. it's like nobody asked for this, and we're like, all right, well, I guess so. But, we'll okay. do that. Is it men's fault? Because, because we accept it. We accept it. We accept it and we we hit on women anyway, you know, because we are we're all about the sex and the vanity for the most part. Right. So but it's you know, also the fact that we also accept women accept infidelity. Mm. How about that? Mm. You, if you if you if women don't accept fidelity, if, if women don't accept infidelity and that discounts them from having relationships or whatever then men wouldn't do it. But women want the guy, they want the, the guy who, they, you know, it's like 80, 85% of the women want the 5% of men. And the guys who have the 5% of the men, 5 or 10% of the men that have access to the women, usually because they have options, they're going to they're gonna exercise their options. Why not? I mean, we, we control each other. We manipulate each other. Well, in it's supply that, and demand. It's sure, supply and, and demand. What you do, yeah. what the consumer, what the consumer wants or is willing to tolerate, that's the bare minimum. That's why McDonald's is raising prices to, until the point where people stop. So people now stop, people, when people stop buying it because it's too expensive, people, people have stopped. They're not buying it anymore. Right. That's an actual legitimate thing that's happened in McDonald's because of the pandemic or just because they fucking wanted to. Let's be honest. Raise the prices. They they squeeze the consumer, and then finally people are like, "Yeah, I mean, for the same money, I'll go to a fucking get a real hamburger." Yeah, I wasn't yeah. coming here for your food, bro. Right, I was right coming right. here because it was cheap and affordable. It's fast, cheap, and it's it's great. So, it's it's crazy. I, I, but I think that this is really how do we bring this up to some kind? Of, wait, wait, we, the yeah. reality is that we're not talking. Men yeah. and women are not talking. They're not having a conversation. They're not they're not asking what do we want? What do we want? What do you want? How can we accommodate each other? Because we are important. Without men and women coming together, we we end our existence as a species. And so what is it to have a conversation about what we want? And then what is it to what is it to to comply? Mm. I mean, you 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 ask a you ask a you you ask a woman to be agreeable who is an aggressive kind of masculine woman. She's like, well, you ain't strong enough for me. Yeah, okay, well, go that way, go. Um, and you're you're seeing this over and over again, where 
women are who are have this kind of masculine energy have asked for certain situations. Women are complaining all the time about, you know, men don't men are pussies. They don't they don't approach me. I mean, can we get a video on it? Oh, we, oh, we gotta shut it down. We'll do it on the uh on the Patreon. How about yeah, that? we'll do another one. We'll show if you have another video, I'll I'll pull it up. Yeah, yeah. Pull so um we gotta wrap close this up anyway, right? So yeah. but we gotta have a conversation. Let's be honest. Um every you know, every one of the the manosphere kind of red pill dudes will be like, women ain't this, and every every woman show is like, men ain't shit like this, and we need to have some kind of conversation so we can have a dialogue, so we can meet somewhere in the middle. You gotta listen and, and not and not be angry or judgmental when you hear what you want to hear. My girl yeah. doesn't wear eyelashes long; she doesn't wear any fake eyelashes because she knows yeah. I don't like them. So why yeah. would she do that? Why? If you want to appear less and, attractive, and women, to her, women would say she oh she's one of those pick me's. Yeah, I say what you want. What's a pick me? Pick me. I mean, she's like willing to. I'll, I'll do anything. Just pick me. Just no, she's not. Me. She's not. That's just one of those things that doesn't matter enough to her to do it, and it's something that I don't like. So it's a compromise in the real sense. In a sense of like, okay, I don't really give a fuck about this that much, so I'm willing to not do it for you. Here's a weird one. I don't know what you're gonna judge me on this. I shave my chest because she likes a bare chest. I don't give a shit either way. I like it both ways. Doesn't matter to me. I like a little hair there sometimes, I, but I shave it specifically because that's the way she likes it. So why wouldn't I do that if she appreciates it? If it doesn't, well, you ain't laying your head on it, right? Right, right. But I'm well, listening is the point. I listen to her; she listens to me. But we have to do that. But also, you have to be willing to say what you want and mm -hmm. not give a fuck when someone goes, "Well, I have fuck you." Then, all right, then piss off. Yeah, that's it. Don't forget the consultations. DanteNever.com. Uh, click on console Harry at uh, advice from Harry at gmail.com. Follow us on Patreon. Follow us on all things. Don't forget the live stream that we do every Tuesday at 8 30. Um, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? Sexual revolution be a podcast. Love y'all, man. Peace. Okay. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first. Because if you don't, they won't.